Online classes are different than sitting in a classroom. The information may be presented in a variety of fashions, all controlled by the teachers, professors, or universities. How you receive the information and learn from the information presented is up to you. Hi, my name is Margaret Meek, and this is how to make the most of online education classes. Online classes are an excellent way to take courses not being offered by your school, to fit into your course schedule, or to manage education in a challenging time. Not being in the same room with your instructor can be a very different learning experience. The situation is not bad, it's merely different. And since we have entered into a challenging time, there's a pretty good chance that you are online right now too. And this may be the first time that you are taking a fully online class or multiple classes. If you're taking any online classes, there are ways to make the experience truly educational, engaging, and interactive. Here are some ways to make sure you are making the most of the online education opportunity. Just as a classroom is set aside for education, we recommend you set up a space that is for your coursework. Reduce the visual distractions in the area. You can't learn in the middle of the family room if multiple people are carrying on various conversations, playing music, and watching TV all at the same time. Kim, I can't believe Kanye said that about Chloe. What are they thinking about? Be creative. You can set up a closet, a corner of your room, or the end of the hallway to be your workspace. If your class requires you to be visually available, you need to make sure that there are no distractions in the background. And be prepared to mute your participation if there is any extra noise in your space. Reduce your technology distractions by turning off notifications and reducing the images that you have up on the screen as you listen to the lectures or work on the homework. Make sure you know your technology needs for the course and make sure you understand how to set up the camera, microphone, and all the apps you need. Also make sure that internet access is reliable and consistent within that space. You may need to recognize your own learning style. If you are a visual learner, you want to make sure that you have visual access to everything you may need for each class at your fingertips. You may want to have a copy of the assignment in print in front of you. You want to focus on the video presentation from your instructor. If you are an auditory learner, listening carefully to the instructor's presentation becomes more important. If your instructor does not use a significant number of graphics or charts, you may focus better listening to the instruction without worrying about being distracted by the teaching itself. Keep the screen in your peripheral vision so you can see any graphics that may be posted if the lecture is recorded, you might be able to adjust the speed of the video to help you match your preferred listening rate. Take notes in a style that works for you. Chances are the style will be similar, if not the same as the style that works for you in the classroom. Read the course assignments in a manner you know is most productive for you. And when possible, you can listen to your lectures more than once. Make sure you maximize your learning strengths, stay engaged in the lectures and homework, and recognize that active learning is just as important on the other side of the screen as it is in the classroom. If you are coming from traditional classes, you may need to adjust the way that you are tracking classes and assignments. It will be more difficult to follow all the assignments that you have to do if you aren't in class every day with an instructor to remind you what to do when. Find a system that works for you, whether it is a to-do list, traditional planner, or calendar, or whatever else works. Some online classes offer ways to track what an instructor has due, but we recommend cross-checking this with your own system since some assignments may not be entered into the online service. You will have more to keep track of between classes and lectures, so make sure that you have a way to stay organized. To complete education from a distance means that you have to be able to hone three skills. You must be able to advocate for yourself Simply put, 
That means if you don't understand what is happening, if you have a question, or if you're unclear of the instructor's expectations, you must be willing to speak up for yourself. Use posted office hours, email, or any other method laid out by the instructor. Work to get the education you deserve. You must be able to focus. Don't allow yourself to drift away from the instruction or reading. Allow yourself time off your studies to be able to play games, exercise, and sleep. Having time off and keeping yourself healthy will help you stay focused, even in classes that are not a passion for you. And you will need to be flexible. While it is best to set up a study regime, you need to recognize that some classes will take more time on a day than you anticipated. You need to adjust and move on. Also be prepared to turn in all assignments early. You never know when technical problems will cause submission issues. Make sure you have time to work out those issues or share with your instructor what those problems are to avoid late penalties. And just to be clear, you have to have dedication. Online classes are not easier. Keeping up with requirements and assignments can be more difficult without class interaction. The responsibility is all on you. We also strongly recommend setting up a schedule for balancing coursework and personal time. If your class has a lecture, set up a consistent time for that lecture and keep that schedule throughout the course. It is much easier to keep up with the course and not procrastinate if you maintain a schedule. We also recommend setting up a school schedule where you dedicate time from say 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. to do as much schoolwork as possible. This way you make sure that you have time after 2 p.m. to do things other than school. Prepare for each class session by completing the readings and homework for each course. It is also important that you pay attention to your email. That is a key means of communication by your instructors. Keep your email and all documents separated by course and have easy access. It may take a while to fall into a rhythm, but just as with in-class work, you can set up a schedule that works for your life. Time management is just as important with online education as it is with in-person instruction. Another essential component of being prepared is staying motivated. You can set up breaks based on the number of tasks completed or rewards for continuing to move forward, or you can set up challenges to finish by a specific time and try to best yourself from your last challenge. Just keep moving forward. Again, your health and especially sleep is an important component of managing motivation. While you are involved with distance learning, you can create classmate relationships as well as having discussions with your instructor. Interact during any online discussions or chats. Try to find a communication medium outside of class times, whether that is Slack, Discord, Snapchat, texting, or something else. Communicate with others taking the class to check your perceptions of assignments, confirm details from lectures, and to help you feel more connected to the world outside your workspace. Many online courses include participation in their grading structure. Be prepared to comment on class postings or to speak during the course as required. As with all educational projects you undertake, remember that educational standards about cheating and plagiarism still apply. You also want to make sure that you are putting your best foot forward at all times by being engaged when on camera, proofing comments, papers, and postings, and asking for help when you need help. Remember, if you wouldn't do it in an in-person class, don't do it on camera either. Instructors of online classes take their subject and process seriously, so you can expect the academic rigor to match that of an in-person class. You can make the most of the time, money, and energy you put into your online courses by putting these recommendations into practice. If you found any of the information in this video useful, hit the thumbs up to let us know we helped. If you have any more questions about online courses, let us know in the comments down below.